Good morning, everyone. Welcome to RadioSilentPlay.com. I am your moderator for today, for today on Tuesday, February 9th, 2016. Let me start off by saying I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence before trading any stock or options. Trading stocks and options inquire lots of risk. I'm going to go over a couple of charts, a couple of option setups that um, they're about to trigger or have triggered. I just want to review a couple of updates just to ensure that traders understand the trades and understand whether to start locking profits. Uh, I'm going to go over uh, the G the GPRO, ticker symbol GPRO GoPro. Um, if you notice here, we triggered this entry at $9.60. We're currently trading at $10.99, hitting a high of $11.69. What I want traders to start doing here is look to start uh, locking profits and just move your stop to that break even level. Ultimately, I think we're going to test this 13 level. We have odd contracts for April 15th. So what I want traders to do is just start locking profits, move your stop close, and traders that want to look to add can add somewhere around the 9, 10 level for a re-entry. It's always good to lock profits on the way up. Um, we are in this channel right now. And if you notice, okay, this is a weekly chart and we're setting up a little bit of a box pattern. What we want to see this do is close above that high of 1170 and then we'll test that $13.30 range. Ultimately, a very, very nice trade. I do expect around the bottom, but we do have to consider that the markets overall are in a bit of a downside bias. So always good to, to start profiting on the way up. Okay, this gave an opportunity to enter at $9.00. $9.60 was our trigger. We noticed that the stock held and then the stock traded higher. Okay, so just start looking to profit. Move your stop to break even, which is going to be about $10. And um, then look to uh, take that second position up to that 13 level. Okay. Um, next stock is the HYG. Okay, these are the junk bonds. We told traders to look at that $79.80 range. We actually triggered here at $79.49. Now the stock saw a low of $76.28. Still struggling. I do feel that we'll test this bottom here at this uh, $75.35. But just take into consideration that we have March 18 calls. February is a lighter month, a shorter month. So I do expect us to lock some profits. This gave us an opportunity to add as low as $0.72. Cents. The stock uh, or the option contracts um, hit a high of $1.65. So just start looking to lock profits here. Move your stop to break even. If you want to kind of hold or re-enter any pullback back to this 21 and 8 day moving average will be a re-entry opportunity. Just grabs options a little bit farther to the date. Okay, the next one is the TLT. Just a beautiful trade. Um, this uh, just rallied. It broke. It gave us an opportunity to add as low as 20, 125, 126 range. Now we're trading at 131.49, close near the high of the day. I do feel that we may mm -hmm. potentially test this 135 level, but at the same time, I want traders to kind of ensure to start locking profits, okay? Um, this has um, a bullish upside after this wedge break. Any pullback down to this 125 level, okay? This 125 level will be a buying opportunity. Okay, what you want to do is simply place your stop close below your open price if you're going to hold, but just start locking profits on the way up on the TLT. Um, as we notice, the markets are a little weaker. The smart money is moving into, to, to, into the 20 year bonds, so we are doing well, okay, with the TLT. Okay, the GameStop um, actually has closed above this 21 and 8 day moving average. I want traders to keep an eye on that 28 level. Okay, those that didn't lock profits on this pullback can start looking to add a re-entry level here. But what I want this stock to do is to, to do a fake out breakout, fail this break above this 21 and 8 day moving average, close below it, and then we should see lower prices. But um, right now, the GameStop is a little stronger in a weaker market. So this is something that concerns me. But at the same time, we have a stop close above that 28 level on two consecutive times okay what i want traders to look at is um the etf iwm the russell 2000 which is the small caps okay we've entered this key breaking signal okay we've closed below this uh 98 level two times any move back you don't want to short 
a down market. But what you what you want to do now is wait for any pullback up to this 21 and 8 day moving average or this line here. Okay, this line is about um, let's take a look. Okay, we're looking at a a, a range from nine. 98.85 to 100. Any move up to 98.85 to 100, or if you want to start adding position on any bounce, okay, just slowly scale into your position, and we're going to start looking at um, that 95 strike, okay, for April. So any pullback here to 98 to 100 will be a shorting opportunity. We did confirm a close below this bear flag. So any pullback up to this range will be a shorting opportunity. Please take your time. Don't start shorting a down market. Okay, what you want to do is you want to start shorting somewhere around this cluster. Okay, so I'm going to post this in the group me chat room. Okay, so I'll give you guys a, a sense of where we want to start shorting. Okay, the next one that I'm looking at, okay, today is confirmation. If Tiffany closes below 63 today, that's going to confirm a move lower. So watch Tiffany. It's about to trigger, and I'm going to start looking at the April 15th contracts. Okay, puts, I'm looking at uh, puts potentially to down to 59 or 57 level. I'll post that in the room. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Um, any questions, just hit me up on group me chat or send me an email at radiosilentplay at gmail.com. Those that want to join us for a free trial, Join us at radiosilentplay.com. You can also email me to ask any questions on the service. Take care, everyone.